In order to create a mineral powder foundation for your client, you will need to first choose a base, light, medium, or dark. You'll want to choose a base that's closest to your client's skin tone. The next step is to choose the coverage appropriate for your client. You will also want to ask your client if they want any luminous or shimmer in their foundation product. Another question you'll go over with your client is what their skin type is like. Once you've determined that, you can add an active powder into their foundation. You need a total of four teaspoons in order to fill your 10 gram package. We want to get as close as we can to the four teaspoons, but we will still need to have a little room for adjustments. Fold in the powders together, crush and blend. You will not need to completely blend the products since we will still be adding in some other ingredients. Be sure to keep track of all your measurements on your client record card. Take a small amount of your product and do a test strip on your client's skin. You will need to wait 30 to 60 seconds before evaluating the color. The minerals will darken slightly as they mix with the natural emollients of the skin. When looking at the color of your powder, you will need to look at two things. You will need to take a look at the depth and the tone. How does the depth look? Do we need to darken it or lighten it? Once you've done this, add in the appropriate amount of base in order to get up to four teaspoons. Now that we are close to four teaspoons, we should be adjusting the color in tiny scoops. When you look at the foundation on the skin, what do you see? Add the appropriate toner to adjust the color as follows. One, if the base color looks too pink on the skin, add amber. Jade can also be added for more olive skin tones. Number two, if the base color looks too yellow on the skin, add amethyst. Number three, if the base color looks too peachy on the skin, add lapis. And number four, if the base color looks too ashy or chalky, which means the tone is too pink and too light, add tiger's eye. Once you've added the toner in and completely blended the mixture together. Do one more final test on your client. Once the color is perfect, we must now place it in our packaging. Once you've filled your packaging, you will want to tap your jar down to eliminate airspace. Then put your sifter on, put the top on, and you're done.